It's nasty out here early. They're all piled up trying to get out of the wind. It is nasty. I've never seen it this bad for this many days before. All this dust flying everywhere. Cavs got their nice little safe haven and nothing calved last night so all is good other than we got a ground blizzard and it's because of dirt. So for the past two weeks we've been getting some pretty nasty winds. Some days the gusts were 30, some days the gusts were about 55. Today's one of those days with the 55. Yesterday a few of us went to Storla Station and we braced the roof down because it's been just so doggone windy. It's kind of an old building so we just wanted to make sure everything was you know staying put. Tomorrow is bull day, and so we gotta get ready for that. And thankfully, it actually says the forecast looks like it's not gonna be windy tomorrow. So we're gonna get feeding done here real quick, and we gotta start setting up for bull day. If you're new here, what's bull day? Well, my dad's been selling purebred Black Angus bulls for 24 years. Once a year, around April, our bull customers come, enjoy a nice meal. Usually it's something to do with beef, believe it or not. And then they pick up their bulls and off they go. But before that, we're early in the morning, we're testing the bulls, making sure that we get a good sample and that those bulls are gonna do what they need to do in the pasture. So we gotta set up tables and chairs, get the chute ready, get the pump out there. Also, one of our bull customers, he likes his bulls to be branded. And so he dropped off his irons the other day. We gotta brand quite a few bulls tomorrow as well. We get a lot of questions. Why do you have so many dang chairs? You know, what farmer needs that many chairs? Well, obviously, the answer is bull day. But not only that, we got tables, a lot of them. And they're 80 feet that way. <laughs> it's just like a big, it's like a big freaking kite that we're gonna have to carry across here. This is kind of fun. Four years ago today, I got stuck with this tractor in some really deep snow. If I remember right, we got an 18-incher that night. Oh man, that looks unpleasant to stand around. Getting slapped in the eye with dry hay. So dad, you know what's in that garage over there? A dog? Our tables. No way. Really? <laughs> and that will be the comedic humor of today's video. A sail. Uh, Come sail away with me is, I guess that's the song of the day. Come it? sail away. But I don't really like that song. The song of the day is R.E.M. Sleep. Uh, losing my religion. That's the song of the day. Very catchy tune. And if those of you that say, I thought you were religious, why are you talking about that song? Listen to the last sentence of the song. After all that he says, he says it was only just a dream. So that's why it's the song of the day. So while we move the skid loader out, I also put the pallet fork on and then we carry that out, even though I put wheels on it like everybody wanted. So it'll be back like when we had a pallet under it and we just picked it up and moved it and we liked it that way, but everybody shamed you into putting wheels on yeah. it. Yeah. Not everybody. You know who you are. <laughs> okay. You know who you are. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, here's your broom comb. Why do I get the smaller one? Because mine's bigger. That sure didn't take long with Dad's big tool. It's big one. Kind of funny we're cleaning up for a bunch of, you know, cow-calf people. Like they've never seen a dirty floor before. Yeah, it's an excuse to sweep the floor once a year, right? Yep. Mom's going to be so proud watching this video. Why is that? We're cleaning. No. Dust pans are a wonderful thing. We have one somewhere. Getting pretty clean around here. Not so much that spot. So Brian over here, he's got two kids that like to buy and sell stuff, you know, for pennies on the dollar. And then they have garage sales and they take our tables and they take our chairs and then when we need them, they're not here. So now because our tables have not been returned, we have to clean this bench off for the first time in years. Dad used to put the food out on the bench, but then it got too cluttered. So then we just started putting a table out here, but we can't do that. So we'll we'll move the rat bait, I guess. People people probably don't want to be pulling their food out next to some rat bait and somebody might want some skippy though. Uh-huh. and a half ago we had a couple and their kid come and grab those two bottle calves we had left us a nice present a 30 rack of bush and they said next year they might come by buy a bull and if they do they're gonna name him Jefferino and more bush light maybe yeah, hopefully <laughs> This is Leroy, our feed guy. He's gracious enough every year to provide our food. We've got buns and chips and some uh, beef, of course. And then his brother's wife, right? Leroy. Brings us uh, stroop waffles, and yeah, they're the best. Any stroop waffle? Would you say is probably the best stroop waffle? The best. I would. Hand prepared. Monica, Joy, and family, actually. Okay. Joel did helped together. last year. Joel's wife, yeah. And Joel. Erica. Yeah. He did last year too. So. You got anything else to add, Leroy? Uh, no, I just, uh, we're going to have a uh, smoked brisket. Thanks uh, to these guys for all the business they've done the last few years. You forgot your line. What's my line? <laughs> <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> the, the one, two word thing they call us. Oh, I'm the store station. <laughs> Let's, let's back up. Uh, if anybody's interested, you can help build rations, pull samples, get a set up. Uh, so our feed has soybean meal and distillers in it mm -hmm. and our protein source. But also some guys with a higher protein ration, you can just do like a distiller's balancer. Is that correct? Yeah. Most of our minerals are custom based upon what the customer needs and uh, try not to overfoot ingredients into the base mixes. All these ingredients cost money. We try to keep it down to a low cost producer. Uh, if somebody has a specific issue, like uh, say coccidiosis, right. they can get some yep. mineral custom made, correct? Yep, we do that. And uh, a lot of guys will want to feed the Romanson prior cabin for coxy control through their calving. And some use biomass. We, we do biomass, Dequinate, Ovatec. It just kind of depends on the 
individual need. You know, people free choice and are put into the feeder wagon. And, but uh, the base mixes are uh, the distillers balancer. There's a lot of a lot of distillers fed out there in the country. You know, all of all these products are available. Garlic that's getting to be a big thing. It's actually coming down a little bit in price compared to what it was five years ago. So. So that's another additive and that it's getting to be used heavily in the season for flies and e even feedlot. Uh, we, we've got guys using it year round, actually. Not too many things are getting cheaper in price in this no, day and age. That's so. one of them. Yeah. Garlic, yeah. So that's Leroy. He works with Professional Alliance, who is Storla Station's supplier of supplier. feed yep. and mineral and all the like. Make sure nothing's cabin and then get some lunch and try not to blow away. Now we've had a lot of wind different times over the years and that's the first time one of those wind breaks have blown over. Uh -huh. No cave, no clave for crest in the... Yeah, no, it's a good thing there's nothing over here. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, that's about the worst wind I've ever seen. Except 2015, June 27th. I kicked this close so Ellie doesn't climb in there during the day, but the egg is gone and the trap was still open this morning. The raccoon came, ate the egg, and then it booked it. This girl has a huge bag. She's gonna be cabin here. If not today, it'll be tonight, so Dad and I are gonna have to get her in. It's gonna be cold and windy tonight, of course. So everything's pretty set up. In the morning, we'll start that meat warming up. We're also gonna move the bowls there over in the bullpen. We're gonna get them up just so they're easy to get in the morning. We're gonna have a lot to do in the morning. We gotta feed and then work out these bowls. The vet's showing up at 8 a.m. Try to get them all semen tested. And then after everyone eats, we'll start loading bowls out. And I just realized tomorrow will be the first time we actually run animals through the new AeroQuip system. So looking forward to that. You know, we have all these gates we can keep them from backing up probably gonna apply a little bit more squeeze just to make sure they don't even think about turning around she's calving already she has some feet out uh -huh. You got a huge bag. You know what that is? A, a big old bag? That's a big old bag. I'm gonna take a second look, see if there's anything getting somewhat close, because it's gonna be cold tonight, below freezing. I think it's actually below freezing right now. So we just can't get enough to be able to shut that door all the way. Things are getting pretty stretched out here. And so we just have to bite the bullet and put the extendo reach, go go gadget extendo hose on. Not seeing any leaks. Certainly pros and cons to uh, having a hydraulic chute. Biggest con is keeping all the women off you because it looks so cool running it. Ready to rock and roll tomorrow. Where are you moving? She done it. Heifer. I'm done. We got some sun starting to poke out. Dad and I are gonna brave the three million mile an hour wind out here. 
and sort some cattle up. We got one customer that bought a pretty good jag of our bulls, so we're gonna split those off, especially since he's not coming to pick them up tomorrow. So we just want them to be separate so things run a little smoother tomorrow. Yep. This guy's flirting with the heifers across the across the gate. Did you know those are your half sisters? You weirdo. You sicko. Get some help. So this will be a little bit more difficult. You know, a lot of times when you're sorting, you're going by color or maybe if something has a tag or no tag. But right now, everybody looks the same and we're going by tag number. You know what's difficult about that? Hey, 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 hey. Is that, you know, specific numbers are hard to remember versus red or green or whatever, you know? Okay, so dad put the heifer on. That means we're up to 58 heifers, 55 bulls. Did you update the total? Yep. 113. And that was the first calf we've had in about two days, so it's definitely slowing down. So tomorrow's bull day, Cole. Uh-huh, and we are ready for it. We are. Cattle are sorted. We got the waffles, so that's about everything you got to worry about. waffles and beer for later. Get the bulls tested. Meet some new people that purchased over the phone. And then a lot of old friends as well. Oh boy, yeah. So hopefully they test well and everybody acts decent. The bulls. The bulls, them. yeah. Not the well, people. Well, the people, yeah, not good. I'm pretty sure they will, but that's okay, yeah, them too. Yep. So yeah. Also, update to the Brains bosses, of course, Tammy Sunny. Brock Wires, David O'Brien, Cindy M, and Alex Crows. Or I hope I said that right. Some great supporters of the channel. Been around for a while. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this video, and hope you check out the next one. Is that because it's Bull Day? Is the next video after that Bull Day 2024 three? No. Or will there be other videos? There'll be a couple okay. other ones in between there. Right. So we'll see you next time. Fair enough. Have a good one. Yep. Cole was going to follow me in the house, but he's hanging behind, so let's go see what he's doing. Hey, what are you doing with that? How many stroopwafels you got in your pants? None. <laughs>